We're going to yes. take some more callers on the other side, but I want to talk about some banking. They just keep giving out the bonuses. Yeah. JP Morgan's Damone scores $16 million bonus, and he's among several. Again, as they loot the economy for trillions, as they push us into servitude. I think the number is somewhere around $50,000 in debt to each American citizen over this bailout. And then these guys are getting $16 million bonuses. Let me tell you something. Jason Burmis doesn't owe $50,000 to anybody. And the day they try to collect that from U.S. citizens say, well, this is just part of your debt to save the country. I think that's the time for a violent revolution. Because I'm not paying $50,000 out to a bunch of criminals that just raped and looted my country. We're going to come back. We're going to take your calls. Tony, David, Joel, Seal, and many others. 888-201-2244. And read the Cybersecurity Act after this. It's the Info Warrior. I see that somebody's posted that the House has passed the cybersecurity bill. And I think it was something like 432 to 5. And right away, I'm just like, man, this is awful. This is absolutely terrible. So I copy it. I paste it. I said, this is effing terrible. And, you know, get ready for the Nazi cybersecurity squads. So I start getting comments after comments. Oh, my God, I can't believe they passed this. Because the majority of people are on my Facebook page because they listen to this program or they enjoy my films. They're in the know. They do keep up on current events. They care about geopolitics. And even politics that go on just in this country. But really, the Cybersecurity Act is a geopolitical issue because it's already been established abroad in some of the more outwardly dictatorial countries. And then the soft dictatorships like Australia have passed such legislation. Now it's come here to America with a K, the new America, the one that I don't care for. And my buddy, he's a really good buddy of mine. I've known him since 99, 99 really well, knew of him in 98, known him for over a decade. Really good friend of mine, you know, just had a baby, went to his wedding, the whole nine. And he, he, he literally writes to me. He's like, I'm glad they did this. Not everything's a conspiracy, Burmis. So I write back to him. Joe, I'm glad to see that the baby's looking great. I miss you a lot. However, have you read this bill? Do you even know what it says? And he's like, no, I haven't read the bill, but I, you know, we have to protect the internet. And I said, well, Joe, uh, about six months ago, I took the bill, which is in my hands right now, and I went over it, and it is a draconian piece of legislation that looks to regulate the entire Internet locally, federally, and uh, on a state level as well. And it's total Internet takeover. We're going to go over sub some subsections in just a moment. So then somebody else wrote in, you know, the true Americans wouldn't vote for this. So he said, what is a true American? And I replied, well, a true American is somebody who actually at least read the bill before voting it, or at least the parts that are objectionable to the First and Second Amendments. First Amendment, really, not the Second Amendment. Sorry, I said that. <laughs> and he just had no response. So right now, little old Jason Burmes is going to go over some of the subsections in this bill. So what is the Cybersecurity Act? Well, it's going to create a cybersecurity advisory panel. Real-time cybersecurity dashboard. What does that mean? That means instead of what they use today, which are carnivore-type softwares, echelon-type softwares, where, yes, everything you do on the Internet is tracked, traced, and databased, it's not really in real time. See, they take all the information down, and then it goes through a machine that looks for code words or certain domain names, et cetera, et cetera, to build a profile. This is real-time cybersecurity dashboards, okay? State and regional cybersecurity enhancement program. Remember, this is a federal program, and they are going to get their little mitts into every state and region they can. Section 6, NIST standards 
for development and compliance. NIST is the National Institute of Standards and Technology that is largely, largely responsible for the cover-up of the demolitions of World Trade Center 1, 2, and, of course, 7. Let me repeat that for you. NIST is the organization that is heavily involved in the cover-up of the controlled demolitions of World Trade Center 1, 2, and 7. And they are the people that have developed this system and will force compliance. Oh, yes, we love you, NIST. This is a good thing. Secure domain name addressing system. Secure domain. Folks, your domain name is already secure once you purchase it. This is an excuse to put every single domain name in the country under government control. Then they're going to promote cybersecurity awareness. What's that mean? That means you're going to see more stories like the one where Myri, or Myri, Miley Cyrus gets up and says, I don't like to be cyberbullied. I'm getting off Twitter. And then she can't even spell fat. I was called fat. It's, the inlet, it's like F, like with the big dollar sign and the question mark and the bamboozle everything. <laughs> That's the new America. Let's keep going, folks, because, you know, I read the bill. I, I actually spent the time to sit down with the 50 or so pages and read it. It's a novelty, I know. Jason Burmis reads 50 pages in a day. More than most Americans do in a month. <laughs> and it's certainly more than most Americans do in a lifetime when it's in regards to congressional and Senate bills. All right, so this cybersecurity advisory panel that they're setting up, what is it? They shall appoint as members of the panel representatives of what? Industry, academics, nonprofit organizations, interest groups, advocacy groups, state and local governments. And they're dedicating a plethora of resources and money towards research, development, demonstrations, education, technology transfer, commercial applications, and society and civil liberty concerns. Don't worry, those civil liberty concerns are being looked at. Nowhere in this bill does it say that it's going to obey the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. They say they're going to address the concerns of civil liberties. Oh, thank you, government masters. Thank you so much for addressing my concerns over draconian legislation to shut down the internet and free speech. Without the internet, is loose change a phenomenon? Hardly. You need the internet for something like that to be a phenomenon. In order to be the number one internet film of all time, guess what, folks? You need the internet. The panel shall advise the president on matters relating to the national cybersecurity program and strategy and shall assess trends in development in cybersecurity science and research, progress made in implementing the strategy, the need to revise the strategy. So this is just an open window. How are we going to come at this? We know how they're going to come at this when we read white papers from Cass Sunstein saying they have to infiltrate 9-11 truth and other conspiratorial groups through social networks. The balance among components of national strategy, including funding for the program. Whether the strategy priorities and goals of helping to maintain the United States leadership and defense in cybersecurity. And they actually associate this with the Cold War, saying instead of an arms race, they need a technology race. I mean, come on. The management, coordination, and implementation of the activities of the strategy. Okay? Support for regional cybersecurity centers. For the promotion and implementation of cybersecurity standards. What are these standards? The standards are that all hardware and all software will now have to be federally approved. There will be standards on language. In other words, HTML, C++, program, all these different programming languages will now be standardized for the federal government. Each center shall be affiliated with the United States-based nonprofit institution or organization. See, the regional centers are also going to be hooked into the nonprofits that they then buy off. This gives them plausible deniability. This says that a nonprofit center will really be running the regional cybersecurity centers, but it's all under cloak of the federales. The transfer of cybersecurity standards, processes, technology, and techniques developed at the National Institute of Standards and Technologies. 
will go through to small and medium-sized companies throughout the United States. It also mentions that if you have an extremely small company with less than 100 members, that you will also be regulated under this.